Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Um, Cardano is unfolding as expected. Told you in the previous video here that we will, with the highest likelihood, get down in this way five and yellow, get down to the 44 and a half cent level. And there we are. So target achieved. Yeah. Um, I'm very open. I'm very open to the idea that wave three might still be unfolding. Yeah, we have to be very, very open to that idea. Um, it is impossible. It is impossible at this stage to say if wave three in purple is already finished. Um, but let's, let's, oops, I just moved that. Let's just take another look at the, you know, sort of where we are coming from. So first of all, what we did here, if I zoom out a little bit, by the way, no, I'll say that later. Um, coming down here, I told you this is looking like a bear flag. Not only that, also the Elliott wave count suggested that we peaked here in a wave four that was at 68.7 cents. Um, back then I told you everybody was getting super bullish, Vasel hard fork run, um, the low is in. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about because Vasel hard fork run and everything. Um, you know, most viewers of this channel, super respectful. And you know, you've, you've learned obviously that the Elliott waves can tell us a lot about future price moves, um, which doesn't mean that I couldn't also be wrong at some point. Um, but my primary expectation was still that we were going to come lower. And I don't know if you of you might remember when I said there is no reason to FOMO. Okay. So that obviously played out. It could have broken out to the upside and this could have developed to an impulse to the upside, which would have meant that yes, a, a breakout would have been possible. But I told you, until we really go above 75 cents. That would for me be the absolute minimum that I would consider here a breakout to the upside. Better would have been 91 and a half cents. And as we have never seen that, and as we actually came into the target area of the wave four here in white, which is here, this yellow target area actually, as we came into this, there was no reason to believe that it was doing anything unusual. It was just doing what it would be doing normally anyway, in a wave four, which would be getting into the retracement zone what a wave four normally does. So nothing unusual. In addition to that, we had this ugly move up. It's really a, a move without structure here. That move up, an absolute horrible uh, scene. You know, there is just literally no structure in here. So that looked very much like a three wave move, ABC. And also um, this didn't move high enough. This didn't move high enough because we could have counted this. Yeah, maybe as a wave one, this as a wave two, but then that was not a wave three. So we would have had to count that as another wave one and a two. And then we would have had to see a higher high here, which never happened. So my view was throughout, there is still going to be lower lows. And even though we haven't really seen lower lows yet, because we are still above the wave B or just fighting here with the wave B low, I think it's still playing out. You know, we are coming down very impulsively. And this again, especially with this move down here, it just confirms the impulsive wave structure down, which I've highlighted here on the roadmap. Um, and that is just currently what we're seeing, right? Um, and I'm still waiting here for a lower low. And as long as we don't have a lower low, I'm not convinced that the overall correction is over for ADA. So we are still, we still have to get below 38.7 cents below the low from the 12th of May. Um, that would be ideal in this scenario. Bear in mind from a high level point of view, ADA, did what it needed to do to complete the correction. It came into the target area. It came into the area between the 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6, which is here between 29 and 54 cents. So based on that, theoretically, the overall correction could be over, but the lower level wave count, and that is what we did. You know, we I gave higher level targets. As soon as we moved here into those higher level target zones, I started to really do some, yeah, micro counting for the cryptos to work out are we already in an impulse up or not? And as soon as I see this, because this would indicate trend reversal to the upside, this is what we would want to see. A one, two, three, four, five move to the upside, an impulsive wave structure to the upside, followed by a higher low. And then we can be very certain that the low is in, or at least it is very likely then. At the moment, we don't see anything like that. And therefore, primary expectation has to be that we still come lower. And I'm pretty much forced to see it that way. There is no reason to suddenly get, you know, hype a coin because of a Vasil hard fork. And again, I, in my opinion, what we're seeing here at the moment is just proof that fundamentals don't really 
playing into account here. It is all sentiment. Sentiment is making prices. And even, you know, now everybody's saying like because of the Celsius issue today, we've seen a we've seen a sell off with Bitcoin. But we knew already going into the weekend that we would be seeing lower prices for Bitcoin or that we would be at least expect them had didn't have to do anything with Celsius. Ethereum lower prices doesn't have anything to do with the Ethereum merge being moved out. Nothing. Um, maybe it is a catalyst. Yeah, maybe it is a catalyst, but it is just accelerating what we expected anyway. So that is just the word of the day. All right. Um, what is expected now? So I have to be very open to the idea currently that we are still in a wave three. We've hit the target perfectly for this wave three low. Yeah. And why? Why was that the target? So we had a few ways of measuring this. Um, one way, one way of measuring is you take the wave one here in yellow and I probably have to go to the one hour chart. Otherwise, I will not pick the low. Let's just do that. So a target for a wave five in yellow in this case would be the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level of the wave one. So that was 40. 43.2 cents. Where did we get to? So we did get down to 43.6. I think that's pretty accurate. Yeah. And again, I can say it only again and again. Elliott wave method, it is what comes closest to what you might even consider magic. Yeah. Um, of course, it doesn't work 100% of the time. And of course, I make mistakes as well. But if you are riding the right wave count and if you figured out what the right wave count is, then this honestly gives you a massive edge in the market. Um, and again, it's not working 100%. Nobody is claiming that. But if you get it right and if you don't make a mistake, if you stick to the rules here, it really comes closest to what you would consider magic and uh, time traveling. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, also here, the other target, which is the 1.618 Fibonacci extension of the blue wave uh, of the purple wave three. Um, oh, no, 1.618 extension of the wave one is the wave three target. And again, 42.8 cents. So we came really, really close. But we need to be we need to be open always when we are in a wave three and we have such an impulsive sell off. We have to be open to the idea that we are actually in an extended wave three. So this is currently what we need to get below this current level. 44 cents pretty much is the major a major support level. That is the case because of this wave below. You can be certain that if we break this, there is a lot of selling going on, probably all the way down to the swing low from the 12th of May at 38.6, 38.7 cents. Um, and that would be if we break this now, that would just be an extended wave three. Um, if we see bullish reaction now, then I think we're going to get into this wave. Oh, telephone. I'm not going to edit this out of the video because it's just painful. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, retracement of the wave four. We can calculate that now. If we assume the wave three is, is done, yeah, then the wave four would retrace to the area of 52.6 cents to 58.1. That is where we, no, sorry, 52.6 cents to 55.3. The minimum it needs to do is 49.1 cents. And in a, in, a weak, in a weak market as it is at the moment, it might really only get, down, get up to 49.1. So these are the three key resistance levels. Should we see a bullish reaction now and we cannot see anything at the moment, then we would be getting into one of these resistance levels before we're going down in a wave five in purple. That wave five in purple then should take us down below the low of the 12th of May. And that could then really be the absolute last leg down of <laughs> the last leg down. Okay. Um, and a few people asked me, how do we recognize that the low is in? You will always only recognize it afterwards. Um, there is a good chance this is the last leg down, but you never know when the wave is really finished. But if you get to a key support level like here, the 29 cent level, which is the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level of the whole ADA move, we get to that level and we see a bullish reaction that can trigger because that is an important level, the 88.7 that can trigger a bullish reaction and that could be then the low, but you really only know it after confirmation, um, like a five wave move to the upside. Yeah? 
um, but I'll keep a close eye on it for you and I will keep you updated. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership and maybe even the trading course I'm currently offering on morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.